the next question that came up and uh, in the Slido chat was a question about the size of the innovation team. And maybe you can also say a few words about the background that the people in your team have. Yeah, no, so it's the, exactly, it's another question on the roles and expertise. Um, so right now the complete team, I mean, we started off with five people and we, um, planned a team size of 10. Uh, right now that has increased um, uh, up to 30 people right now. Um, and the specific reason for that is actually what you saw is in the sprint program is the hands-on entrepreneurial support for those innovations. One of the things we realized in operating uh, there is that a lot of times teams lack some skill sets. Um, and so the, the, the people on the team here 70% of the time are actually traveling uh, in those locations. So in South Sudan, in Cambodia, or um, wherever really. Um, and so it, it, uh, right now, I would say two thirds of the team have a private sector startup founder background, or they've worked in innovation teams of private sector entities. Um, and the other third has experience in pushing innovations in developing countries. And there's obviously an overlap between both, but then you also develop that complementary skill set over time. But this is kind of also reflective of the needs of the support needs of the accelerator for those innovations. Great, thank you. Um, and I think you touched on it, but there was a follow up question from Juan. So what uh, external, comp what are those capabilities that you're looking to find an external partner since you, um, you collaborate with? Um, so Actually, all of the teams uh, uh, so far are always a matchmaking between uh, World Food Program teams and external partners. Or it's, if it's an external startup, they partner with an internal team. So it's uh, highly unlikely that it's just one, one um, if it's an internal team, for instance, you have all the capabilities, for instance, or you're the best one to actually develop a product. So we usually uh, try, maybe we find a startup that is able to develop what you actually are looking for if you know the needs. Um, it could also be a company that already has some of those services. Um, and that's then really on a case by case basis where sometimes you may have somebody who offers pro bono services uh, as a company. Sometimes it might be a startup that you're actually paying for developing uh, that service. Mm 